Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. In this video, I'll show you how to use the Audacity vocoder. If you're creating an online radio show, podcast, radio imaging, or simply want to make your voice sound different, you must get hold of my Audacity presets. Head over to mrc.fm forward slash presets. Go and get them now at mrc.fm forward slash presets. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boy. It sound right, boy. Okay, here we are in Audacity. I'm going to record a new sample. This is really cool. I sound like I'm some kind of robot from outer space. Okay, now we've got a nice recording ready to vocode, but we need to vocode it with something. So essentially, we're voice encoding. That's what vocoder stands for. We're encoding the voice with another sound. So we need to create a brand new track, tracks, add new stereo track, and create something. Now, fortunately, Audacity has the ability to generate lots of cool sounds. In this instance, we're going to generate noise. White noise is fine. OK. Now, this is going to sound like gobbledygook uh, to start with. Let's just move that so it overlaps entirely with the voice. And let's solo the white noise. Yeah, it's just white noise, right? <laughs> and then my voice. This is really cool. So now we're going to vocode or voice encode, if you like, uh, both material together to create something rather special. I'm going to select everything on the voice track, go to effect, look for vocoder. It's usually right at the bottom. And we'll start out the box with the default settings. This is really cool. OK, so it's done something good. It's voice encoded. But let's turn up the amplitude of the white noise a little bit and hear the difference. This is really cool. So we're getting that kind of encoding of the voice. We can play with some other settings. This is really cool. I sound like I'm some kind of robot from... OK, you get the idea. This is how the vocoder works. Increase the vocoder bands. And nothing's there. So decrease the vocoder bands a bit. This is really cool. I sound like I'm some And you can keep changing this until you get the desired effect. And obviously, you know, it doesn't have to stop there. It doesn't have to be white noise on this channel. You can generate any effect you like. You can try with tones as well. I quite like sore to tooth tones. Uh, let's stick with 440 hertz and we get something like this on this channel. That could be quite harsh, but let's give it a go anyway and see what it comes up with. Effect vocoder preview. This is really cool. And again, we can dial in these uh, bits until we get something we like. But try it with anything. Sometimes the best thing to do is to play a synth in or some piece of music and try and vocode it with your vocals. And you can get some interesting musical results using this effect. A really cool effect inside Audacity. Let me know how you get on in the comments down below. Check out my Audacity Ultimate course for beginners. If you are a podcaster, YouTuber, voiceover artist, or audio editor, you need this course. Head over to mrc.fm slash audacity. That is mrc.fm slash audacity. Thumbs up. Subscribe for more. Music radio creative.com.